Together Forever and My Cup Runneth Over are almost as good as the magical songs in the Fantastics. Those two numbers appear in the musical I Do, I Do, which was written by the same two men who wrote the Fantastics, Tom Jones and Harvey Schmidt, and it's currently playing at Stages St. Louis. Something special happened when they created the Fantastics, but that lightning doesn't strike every time, and it sets a high bar. Even if I Do, I Do doesn't quite reach that bar, it's still a thoroughly enjoyable musical stuffed with hummable tunes and with well-crafted, if familiar, twists on everything that happens in 50 years of a marriage, from the wedding night through two children and a little straying by both partners to their contented glow as they say farewell to the house where all this has happened. What we see all happens in their bedroom, except for a couple of quick trips to church for their wedding and their daughters. James Wolk has crafted a late Victorian room, which is when the 50-year story begins, with a four-poster bed center stage, and he's given a charming period decoration to the proscenium arts. Sean M. Savoy employs mostly subtle lighting effects. Brad Musgrove's costumes follow the years, more noticeable in wife Agnes's outfits than husband Michael's, with some splendid numbers for her on special occasions. Director and choreographer Michael Hamilton and musical director Lisa Campbell Albert gave themselves a little extra work by casting two sets of Agnes's and Michael's. It's an unusual but understandable move given that the two actors are on stage for almost the whole evening. A little rest helps. And if you see both, which stages encourages you to do, <laughs> you can enjoy the extra insights in different interpretations. All four share lengthy histories with stages and the affection of stages audiences. Corrine Melanson and Steve Isom make one pair and Carrie Ely and David Schmidt too, the other. Both pairs play well together. They master the material like the pros they are, and each takes ownership of the characters they play. Ely and Schmitu perhaps make Agnes and Michael a little more innocent and serious at first. Isom's Michael's ego grows insufferable with the success of his novels, and Melanson really rips into her flaming Agnes number in response. They all make the most, for our pleasure, of the pleasurable material Jones and Schmidt have given them. Yes. Yes, they do, and it was nice that each pair had one local favorite and one favorite from outside the city. Yeah, it was a nice mixture there that way. Let's hear some of the music. When the kids get married, all of our duties will be done. We 